Hey everybody, Jim here, uh, still in the area of Hamura. If you saw the video I should have put up yesterday, then you know uh, I was just at a hobby off and picked up a couple of great games for like really amazing prices. So I recommend you go and check that out after the conclusion of this video. Um, but I'm still uh, heading further down the street because in addition to that hobby off, there is another uh, hard off down here. And they pretty much always have a ton of games and their prices are usually really good too. So that's where we're headed right now to the hard off down the street in Hamura. And so hopefully uh, I find another uh, couple of uh, good cheap games I can pick up and take home with me tonight. Uh, so stick around. Uh, we've got about a 10, another 10 to 15 minute walk ahead of us, and we'll be there, or be square, or be there and be square, because I'm, I'm already pretty square. Uh, anyway, let's go. Cyber City no Huan system ga totsuyo bosou shi, denshi no kiba o jinrui ni muketa. Psycho Diver Shooting Download, kinjutsu hatsubai. Finally coming up on it. That was uh, a lot of walking I just did. I know I, I trim it down quite a bit, but that was about a, another 15 minute walk uh, from the hobby off I was at to the hard off over here, which is uh, an off house on the bottom, which, you know, they sell household goods, appliances and things like that. And I think clothes and things too. Uh, and like toys and baby stuff, all kinds of things. Uh, but the second floor is where the hard off is. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I haven't been to this hard off in a long time. This used to be my absolute favorite. I made like a million videos digging through all the stuff in here back in the day. So let's get inside and relive some of those old memories. The hard off in Hamura. Here we go.
right. Hard off immediately confronted with a beautiful case full of Famicom and other things. We got Turtles. We got Rockman 007. Mighty Final Fight. Into Ryukind and Kid Dracula. All this great stuff. Uh, I'm not going to name every single game in here. You, you have eyes. You can see. There's Turtles Gun Deck. That's actually uh, Vice Project Doom, which is an amazing game. I really do like that game. Check it out if you haven't already. But there's so much good stuff in that case. Uh, lots and lots of Famicom goodies. And then all these uh, stuff on the racks. I guess less expensive, more common stuff. Uh, there's plenty of good shape like Mario's and Kirby's, as you can see. Other various things. And you can see they're like 300 yen, 500 yen. So uh, most of this stuff is going to be like, you know, 5 bucks or less. So 300 yen there for a, uh, a Mario 3. That's fine. Three bucks for Mario 3 isn't so bad. Three bucks for Dragon Ball, which I believe is called Dragon Power in the U.S. And uh, Wario no Mori, Wario's Woods, the last official NES release, I do believe. And lots of boxed Famicom as well. Plenty of stuff in there. There's Goimons and Mario's and Yoshi's Cookies, Tetris, etc., etc. Here's a uh, complete copy of uh, Wario no Mori, Wario's Woods, and it's 1,200 yen, which uh, ain't so bad for a complete, really good shape copy of that. And there's Makaimura, Ghouls and Ghosts, Star Luster, Chuck and Pop, lots and lots of good stuff. Uh, this this uh, particular hard-off has always had lots of good stuff on Famicom. Ghostbusters, that's not any good, but I do love the cartridge, though. I love that black... Uh, Ghostbusters Famicom cart. As we look at all this uh, loose Super Famicom stuff, again, lots and lots of games, most of them for five bucks and under. And we've got box stuff here. Go Go Akman 2. A uh, great series of games. There are three of them on the Super Famicom. And they are all really, really good and uh, should be played by everyone who loves platformers. Super Toad 2. I don't know why that's 1200 yen. That's a very, very common game. Usually no more than 500. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Panel Depon, Tetris Attack. Uh, another amazing game. So, this is another instance where... Uh, if they didn't... If I didn't already have, like, a lot of this stuff, I'd be picking these up right now. One of the DBZ uh, RPGs, which those are usually pretty cool. Uh, it almost makes me want to just, like, just get rid of everything. Just sell everything you got and start collecting over again. Because the thrill of the hunt... The thrill is gone! The thrill is gone. Uh, I mean, not entirely. But, uh, just, you know... I have an appreciation for... For games like this kept in, you know, really great shape. And so, like, I get excited. I'm like, oh man, look at this... You know, look at this really great shape copy of, like... It doesn't even have to be anything uncommon. You know, it could be, uh, oh, look at this great copy of Mario Kart or, or, you know, DK Country or Mario 3 or whatever. And I'm like, oh, man, awesome. I, I don't have to buy this because I already have it, but uh, there it is. <laughs> I just, I'm just happy to see games in general. When I see a whole lot of games all in one place, I get all, all giddy like a little schoolgirl. Uh, more Super Famicom. Good Lord. They had a lot of Super Famicom in this place, and as you can see, there's still the Mario Karts, Magical Taruru Tokun, etc., etc., Gambare Goiman, uh, I guess the first one. There's like, what, like four or five Goiman games on the Super Famicom? Uh, Mario uh, Collection, aka All-Stars, gotta love that, and there's Street Fighter, Bomberman, I'm just seeing so much stuff. Um, so... Just an absolute uh, amazing selection of Super Famicom games. We've got plenty of N64 stuff here as well. Uh, most loose carts. Again, all the stuff you would like want to have. You know, Diddy Kong Racing and Wave Race, Mario 64. These very nice uh, Zeldas. Uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, I guess that comes with a little bonus thing. And then this is just the game by itself. And these are uh, really nice and in good shape. And they're like 15 bucks each or something. Uh, so not like 
outrageous prices or anything, but they have all the essentials, basically. Your Mario, Zelda, Smash Brothers, Kart Racers. Uh, another case, lots of handheld stuff and boxed Famicom games, which I always uh, do like seeing. Uh, most of my Famicom collection is boxed, but I do have the odd loose cart here and there. These Kiki Kai Kai games, they are expensive. These are the uh, Pocky and Rocky games. Um, so I'd like to have those, but good lord, they cost a lot. And other stuff in there, Street Fighter Zero 2, Live Alive, King of Dragons, which is a great game. Love it. Area 88. The Firemen Complete. That's a really fun game. I do really like The Firemen by Human Entertainment, who uh, also made most of the Fire Pro Wrestling games. So you gotta love Human. Uh, only, you know, a pretty modest selection of Dreamcast games here. Tetris 4D. Which I almost uh, picked this up, because I do like me basically any variant of Tetris. But I ended up not for some reason. They have multiple copies of the Shin Moos and things like that. And uh, also Saturn. Limited selection of uh, Saturn games, which I said in the previous video, that's kind of a bummer. A lot of these uh, book-offs and hard-offs and other various offs. There's Lunar, not a bad game. Uh, a lot of them. Uh, Saturn and, and Dreamcast and PC Engine, this is all stuff that's usually in short supply. Uh, here is some PC Engine stuff, though, including Devil Hunter Yoko and uh, Yokai Dochuki, Kabuki Din, PC Genjin, a lot of the stuff you'll usually find. So they had some decent, uh, decent little PC Engine games, Godzilla or uh, Gojira, and uh, Fire Pro, some other cool stuff. Uh, not much, though. Which, that's usually the stuff I'm really on the lookout for now. Is uh, Saturn and PC Engine and Dreamcast as well. Although I have almost all the Dreamcast I want. Uh, this is all Game Boy stuff. Which is pretty cool. We got Hokuto no Ken. Uh, you had Dr. Mario's and other various things. Um, don't really collect for handhelds at all. I'm just going to put that there. <laughs> yes. Uh, that, that deserves to be front and center. Whenever I can't get something back on the shelf right away. I'm like, you know what? This is a display item. I'm going to make a decision here on this. Okay, Mega Drive games, lots of good stuff, all lined up. Rolling Thunder 2, Musha Alest, a fantastic game. Atomic Robo Kid, uh, Kyukyoku Tiger, I believe it's called. Curse, Shinobi, Insector X. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. And then we got Sonic 3. We got other uh, various things. Um, this AES game, just, just chilling out here. Uh, Art of Fighting 2. Fantastic. Actually found a few AES games in here. And uh, this um, Famicom Disk System. Never seen a Disk System uh, game in a case like that before. So I was intrigued. But I don't even have my twin Famicom anymore. So I'm like, eh, whatever. And more Mega Drive stuff. Really good stuff too. Sonic 2, Fatal Fury 2, uh, Thunder Force 3. Amazing side-scrolling shooter. And Gaiares. One of the best shooters on the console. So their Mega Drive selection was pretty on point. I would have definitely picked it. You know, they got Street Fighter 2 there. Again, Fatal Fury 2, Rambo. Just uh, all this good stuff. And some PC games as well. Uh, I don't collect any PC games, but uh, there they are. One other AES game. And then there's like some MSX there. Emerald Jagoon and other things. Oni. So that's... Uh, game I haven't even thought about in years. That was like one of the very early PS2 games back in the day. It was published by Rockstar at the time, before GTA 3 came out. Uh, we have lots of PS2 here. PS2 stuff, I will say for the most part, was super cheap in here. We have a uh, Initial D Special Stage for 500 yen. That is a great game. I uh, love Initial D. Uh, yeah, most of this stuff... It's like five bucks, three bucks, uh, super, super cheap. I always tell people uh, for import games like PS2 and PS1, these are good consoles to get imports for because you can walk into a hard off like this with a little bit of cash in your pocket and you can walk out with like a dozen games, you know. Uh, especially if you don't mind uh, picking some stuff out of the uh, bargain bins. Which uh, I've been known to do. Just grab 100 yen PS2 games. 
and uh, go home with arms full. Actually, I mentioned this before. These were the hard offs that I uh, used to hit like every weekend. This and some other ones in the area. And uh, Puyo Puyo Fever. Love it. Um, I would uh, spend a lot of time, like a lot of the loose Famicom carts I had at the time, some of the PS2 games, all this stuff. I would just go to the bargain bins and just pick out random stuff. Get all this stuff for 100 yen, take it home, clean it, and it would work fine. And, uh, yeah, I would go spend like 3,000 yen, 5,000 yen, just come home with like, you know, a couple dozen games. Uh, so, crazy times back then. This, Snowbo Kids Plus. So, Snowboard Kids on the PlayStation. I did not know that this even had a port to the PlayStation. So, uh, spoilers for the end of the video. As usual, guess what I picked up? Uh, Ein Honder. Wonderful game. Uh, this one, it's got all these old school, like, uh, cutesy anime girl characters. Uh, so I thought that looked a little bit interesting. And there's other titles here. You see Chrono Trigger and uh, Soul, Soul Edge. A lot of the stuff is like a few bucks. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 800 yen. Not so bad for that. And Star Gladiator, 300 yen. I love Star Gladiator and the sequel. Both great games. Samurai Deeper Kyo, very simple, some could argue overly simple 2D fighter. That's 500 yen. And more, more, more. Magical Drop, X-Men V Street Fighter. Not as good as the Saturn, mind you, but still, you know, a worthwhile 2D fighter. Uh, a Wataru game, which is Keith Courage on the PC Engine, or at least that character is. All, all these Rockman games, Rockman 8 and X4 and X, uh, X6, great game. Actually, I am a big fan of Rockman 8. I know that one gets uh, lampooned a little bit, uh, but I actually really like that game. I like the graphical style, and uh, I love the soundtrack. And uh, we have some 360 games here, including this. This is Arcana Heart 3. Which, uh, the, the, uh, 360 version was handled by Arc System Works. And, uh, it's a really good 2D fighter. I would recommend, uh, picking that one up. Don't know if it's region free, but I think it was also released on the PS3. As we look at lots of, uh, PS3 games that they have for sale here. Including stuff like Catherine and, uh, other things. Uh, but, yeah, PS3 and PS4. The PS3 games are super cheap. And you can see here the PS4 games. Lots of, like, good newer stuff. I mean, we've got Ys and Ryuga Gotoku and uh, Persona. Um, you know, lots of stuff uh, getting dropped off at these hard-offs and book-offs and things. So you can find stuff that's fairly recent. If you don't have a copy of it already, you can pick it up uh, for a lot cheaper than buying brand new. And the condition is going to be like new. So, you know, there's no real risk. Uh, random, loose, Super Famicom carts just off on a, on a side rack, so that's nice, whatever. And, uh, this case had some cool stuff in it. We can see PC Engine games in there, the Valus Visual Collection, Superstar Soldier, some Jackie Chan, Neo Drift Out on the Neo Geo CD. That's an expensive game. Um, but some other cool stuff in here. In the Hunt, Gradius Gaiden, uh, other various things. Snatcher on the PlayStation. And yada yada yada. Uh, Dompachi. Great shoot em up. Cabe's first ever shooter, actually. Dompachi. Uh, still a fun game to this day. And we got some Super Famicom, Famicom, Game Boy Advance. Uh, lots of stuff. Some valuable stuff. Some of it not so much, but they were like, hey, let's put this in a case, I guess. Uh, and Marvel vs. Capcom on the PlayStation. Again, not the best, but, you know, worth a playthrough. And as we move into consoles, you'll get consoles. Uh, and they had quite a lot. Uh, this hard off, I can say, is pretty much exactly how I remembered it. Lots of consoles, lots of games. And you can look at the prices on these PS3s and things. Um, like 60 bucks. You can pick one up. We got some fight sticks. Some of the sticks are kind of expensive. The sticks are more expensive than the, the consoles. PS2s, they're like, you know. The slim there, 7,000 yen, which is like, I don't know, I guess it's a lot, but those always seem to be going for a bit, you know. Those PS2 slims, that's what I have. 
I love those little guys. You can take them anywhere and uh, play all your games. 7,500 for this gold Famicom Mini. It's got all of the uh, jump games on it. So you got your Hokuto no Ken and, and Dragon Ball Z, Captain Tsubasa, etc., uh, etc. Et Most of those games are not really very good. <laughs> but if you want a golden Famicom Mini, there she be. And an Arcana Heart Fight Stick to go with your your copy of Arcana Heart 3 on the Xbox 360. Some Super Famicoms yellowed, so they're, you know, they're pretty cheap. They're like 30-some-odd bucks. Uh, an MSX. I keep coming across these. Um, this one by Sanyo. Uh, MSX2. And, uh, you know, I would, I would like to have an MSX, actually. I would have to familiarize myself with it. How to, like, I don't know, hook it up properly and run it through whatever TVs I have and stuff. Uh, 4400 for a Saturn. That's good. We're actually going to see another MSX2 coming up. A much bigger one. As uh, this case, it has some various electronic things in it. Uh, but we can see up here other things like this nice play computer favorite. Not uh, not in any way, shape, or form a knockoff of the Famicom. Uh, as we also have things in here like uh, we got some Game & Watch. Other cool little things. Some controllers. Wonder Swans. Neo Geo Pockets. Uh, stuff like that. Um, again, pretty typical of this place. Just lots of cool stuff. Uh, this Mega Drive. Sonic Pack-In. Pretty cool. 80 bucks. So if you want 80 bucks for a really great shape. Boxed uh, Mega Drive. I was going to say Super Famicom. I got Famicom on the brain. Family Basic. Mega Drive Minis. I actually need to get one of those for someone. A Core Graphics. Chillin' for 100 bucks. And uh, this big boy here, uh, Mitsubishi MSX2. So I guess lots and lots of people made MSX computers. Uh, but yeah, I do uh, want to at least give the MSX a try. I know there's lots of really cool like Konami stuff on there that I would like to give a shot. Uh, for instance, I would like to play the MSX versions of Akumajo Dracula, of uh, Snatcher. I would also like to play SD Snatcher. And uh, some other stuff. The MSX Dragon Quest and uh, Ys. Uh, those those seem pretty interesting. So those are a whole bunch of consoles there at various prices. And we're at the bargain bins now. And uh, yeah, the bargain bins in this one. Always full of stuff. Like I said, I used to buy a lot of games out of here. So you can see 64, you got lots of Pokemon stuff like that. Um, but there's just bins full of PS2, PS1... I mean, Famicom, I mean, just look at all these games. Just look. Um, you know, I don't... Uh, I try not to dig, like, too much when I'm recording these. I kind of want to wait until I put the camera away, just because I don't want these... These videos are long enough. They're usually close to half an hour, and that's a long time for somebody to watch me dig through games. Uh, Parappa the Rapper, all this stuff is 100 yen. So you can just go and pick up Parappa the Rapper and... Uh, your brand new Dreamcast Passport, I guess. I'm Jammer Lammy. You can just grab all this stuff for you know, 100 yen. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, these, these videos are, are long enough. Uh, so I don't need to be in here like all day. Uh, here we have Street Fighter Zero Two Case with Dragon Ball Z Legends in it uh, without a manual. So that is what they call a limited edition, people. Gotta, you're gonna walk away with that. You gotta get a, get it signed by someone. It's gonna be worth money someday. Uh, some random Konami baseball game. Yeah, lots and lots of Famicom baseball games, as usual. What was it with the Famicom and baseball games? People bought those things by the boatload. And we got some more uh, PlayStation. So look here, we have Biohazard 3: Last Escape, and we have Biohazard 2. So two just amazing games, 100 yen each. I mean, the discs are probably a little worse for wear. Final Fantasy VIII. You'll also find, like, Final Fantasy uh, VII in there, and Tactics, Dragon Quest, probably all kinds of stuff. So these really, really great games. It's just they sold, like, a million copies of them. So at this point, you know, you can't give them away. Yeah, so there's a Final Fantasy Tactics and Intelligent Cube in there. Uh... So it's not like just garbage games. There's really good stuff in there. Now we come... I thought this was cool. 
laser disc. Got a ton of laser discs here. Key, the metal idol. Cool anime, but we're about to look at all these great movies. I just, uh, I don't know, I got, like, I saw the, started to pull out these movies and I was like, holy crap! Chuck Norris! With a giant gun blowing up some Southeast Asian country, T2. So just like, I love the um, covers of all these laser discs. I've never had a laser disc player. Um, Rambo Super Series 2. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Uh, it's just so good. I had to eventually try to stop myself. I just wanted to keep digging through all these. Die Hard 2. And a Cocktail with Mr. Tom Cruise, Mr. Crazy Man, still doing his own stunts at, like, a million years old. And coming to America. Uh, so anyway, actually, coming to America is called Star Prince Goes to New York in Japan. Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so that was fun. Uh, they had still lots and lots of games. Uh, pretty good prices too for the most part, although like everything in the cases was like a million dollars. Uh, that's why I only picked up one game in there. I picked up a copy of Snowboard Kids Plus because I no longer have Snowboard Kids for the 64 and I like that game. And I didn't even know there was a PlayStation port of it. So I got Snowboard Kids Plus for like 1800 yen which is kind of maybe like 16 bucks or something, so not so bad. Um, since it, they had a lot, uh, but the stuff they had that I would have wanted, I uh, already have, so I didn't need to buy like another copy. And then the other stuff that I would have wanted was like a few hundred bucks, you know, uh, which I'm not prepared to spend today. So uh, yeah, I got myself a copy of Snowboard Kids, and I'm good with that. I've got that, and from the Hobby Off, I've got King of Fighters, 97, and a Power Stone, a factory sealed Power Stone, in fact. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and now, uh, I'm done, and uh, my feet are uh, a little bit hurdy hurdy because I've been uh, walking a lot. I've been on my feet for about the past six hours or so. So I am gonna go and find a place to eat, Maybe go find a place to get a drink, and then I'm gonna get back on the train and carry my ass home, and uh, probably start start editing this. Um, so if you're watching it right now, uh, I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me, coming back to uh, my old stomping grounds after a number of years away, finding some games, uh, doing a lot of walking, cutting some calories. You know, maybe I could have a something a little, maybe I'll treat myself to a steak or something to reward myself for being such a good boy today. I walked a lot and I didn't spend too much money. I resisted the urge to buy overpriced games. Uh, anyway, I think, uh, thanks again everybody for watching, sticking around, and uh, hope you enjoyed and come back for the next one. Take care everybody. Goodbye.